Hello, welcome to this special edition of Greg's Insight Talk. This video will bring you an insight into celebrating a personal milestone in a more meaningful way. We celebrate our milestone in various ways that will bring us happiness and great memories. Others just let it pass as an ordinary day for some reason. But I celebrated my 50th year of existence by making a little difference with my family. We visited the Basilica of St. Anne du Beaupre in Quebec, Canada. Such a blessing of life, I am grateful first to God, the source of our energy and provisions for our worldly and spiritual existence. He molds me into who I am today and is always on my side to guide me to a brighter tomorrow to be a better person. Second, through the ups and downs of my life's journey, my wife and kids are always with me, inspiring and keeping me going through the most challenging times. Finally, I am thankful to everyone with whom I have interacted and socialized within the past 50 years. My parents and siblings, relatives, friends and acquaintances, co-workers, and other people I have encountered and will be encountering in my life journey ahead. Through photo slides, let me share my memories of the past five decades. Unfortunately, my photos were minimal during childhood because we seldom did them or we had no opportunity to do them. Here is a slide presentation of several pictures of yesteryear I have. It partly speaks of my story and demonstrates who I was back then. <laughs>
for my 50th birthday took a year. Supposedly, I must be in my home province in Oriental Mindoro, Philippines to plant trees with the indigenous people, the Mangyans. I consulted volunteer groups and government agencies. However, time and cost did not permit it. Nevertheless, considering those challenges along the way, God made it possible. My project of planting at least 50 trees happened through a friend who coordinated to realize such a plan, a way of giving back to Mother Earth. 50 trees cannot replace the trees I consumed or expanded in the past 50 years, or such trees will not even suffice for what I will be using for more years ahead. For example, paper products, pieces of furniture I used, and a house that sheltered me and my family, the oxygen they supply for me to breathe, among other benefits from them. Nevertheless, next is the video presentation of the tree planting activity at the Catholic Church's property in Bansud, Oriental Mindoro, Philippines. Simultaneously, in Canada, my family and I and our two cousins had a road trip about 750 kilometers east of our residence to explore the European-inspired city of Quebec. Along the way, we enjoy seeing the places we pass by and every stop before arriving at our destination. We both had good challenging experiences. Quebec City has historic and exquisite beauty. However, as a tourist destination, we have not experienced a warm welcome and hospitality from the locals or residents compared to the places I have been. Learning about other cultures was a good experience in such a historical place or historical part of Canada. At the same time, Discerning the meaning of the local social behaviors and exploring why they behave the way they do gave me a profound understanding of who they are. Well, enjoy several snapshots and video collections during the thrilling Golden Birthday Tour around Quebec City, a piece of Europe in northeastern Canada.
There are a few things I want to share with you that challenge us all in our times. The materialistic and individualistic world. First, let us strengthen our faith in God and we can see the difference in our life. We are just passing in this world. Second, reconnect with our natural environment, Mother Earth. Let us all work together to rekindle our relationship with our natural environment, thus regenerating the home for humanity. Third, travel to different places if you can or have the chance to get away from life's ordinary routine. Both rekindling our relationship with the natural environment and traveling to different places will allow us to have a higher consciousness of our existence. Fourth, continue to find our purpose in life and do what we are passionate about, but with compassion for humanity and God's creation. Finally, let us not be trapped in material cultures and social or technological slavery that blur our purpose in life. Submit ourselves to our Creator to find our goal and live meaningfully. I give a special thanks to Army Miharis Castillo and her children, Paris Priest Reverend Father Marlon Labay of the Divine Savior Paris of Bansud Oriental Mindoro, Philippines, my nephew JB and other volunteers. To realize my golden birthday project, you are all God's instruments to such green earth project, a birthday tree planting advocacy. Thank you for watching Greg's Insight Talk. See you next time.